So the Neuralink CEO left the company, but Max Hodak is the CEO or was the CEO of Neuralink. And he tweeted last night that he is no longer at Neuralink, that he left the company, learned a ton there, remained a huge cheerleader for the company. He is moving on to new things. Now, a few weeks ago, this is a little bit of a drama, not something we're necessarily happy about. There's this question, why did Max Hodak leave Neuralink? What's going on? Is this a bad sign for Neuralink? Is it a big problem? I don't know enough to say for sure what happened. I think there's, I'm going to speculate now, or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to entertain some speculation of my own as to what happened with Max Hodak. And I'm, I'm going to say right out, I don't know what happened. Here's a couple of theories about what happened. And I don't for a second believe any of these are necessarily true. They're just punches, basically. So really quick, there was this moment about a year ago when Tesla, when, when sorry, when Neuralink was doing their launch event and they were talking about what they were doing and this happened. Monkey has been able to control the computer with his brain. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> FYI. I, I didn't realize so, we were running that result today, but there well, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey's gonna come out of the bag, so. <laughs> so Elon Musk at that event revealed that a monkey had done something with the computer and Max Hodak, who was the co-CEO at the time, uh, he did not apparently agree with Elon revealing that information. It sounded like to me there was some discussion beforehand. We're not going to talk about that. And then Elon went ahead and talked about it anyway. This is one of those things about working with Elon is he is an over the top character. He is not um, he's not necessarily easy to work with. So it's possible. And, and Hodak's resignation or, or departure really comes close to the monkey mind pong to the monkey mind pong video it happened you know a few weeks ago about four weeks three or four weeks ago was the monkey mind pong video so the timing is kind of odd but there's more here the so difficulty of working with elon andre karpathy talked about in the robot brain podcast listen to this this is a job that on average people last six months and here you are, almost four years, and knock on wood, this is just amazing. Yeah, that's accurate. I was aware of the average tenure uh, at Tesla, especially when you're working on very important projects, very close to Elon. Andre Karpathy, there was a guy asking Andre a question, and Andre acknowledged that it's difficult, that a lot of people have trouble working with Elon. Elon is a hard person to work for. He is very demanding, and he wants a very fast-paced, very aggressive approach to things. And Karpathy in that interview basically said, it fits for me, it doesn't work for a lot of other people. And the average tenure working in that type of position with Elon is six months. So Hodak lasted a lot more than six months. He lasted more than a year. I think he was with uh, Neuralink for two or three years, if not longer. So at some point, working with Elon just gets hard. Gwyn Shotwell at SpaceX is doing great with it. Jerome Guillen at Tesla has been doing it for a long time, Drew Baglino, but you have to figure this guy is over the top. He's amazing in a lot of ways, but it's got to be a lot of pressure working for him. So one theory is that Hodak had some kind of conflict with Elon and that he, that he couldn't deal with it anymore. That's a theory. I think a more, I think it's unlikely that Elon was the driving force in pushing Hodak out. The reason why I think that is because Elon is so busy with Tesla and SpaceX that he at one point said he devotes 5% of his time to Neuralink. So my gut guess is what's more likely is there were some in some, there were some politics in the office between different executives, different profile people in the important people in the company. And there may have been some sort of back and forth and some sort of disagreement about the direction they were going to take. Two or three people wanted to go one way and Hodak wanted to go another way. And it came down to Elon choosing and he chose the others. He said, no, we're going to go this way. And Hodak at a certain point said, if I'm going to be CEO, I got to be CEO. If I'm not going to be CEO, I got to move on. That just seems more likely to me. I just don't see that Elon is spending a lot of his time. If you watch, follow Elon Jet or whatever, there's a Twitter account that follows his jet. I just don't think he's spending that much time at Neuralink to be there having conflict with Hodak and pushing it one way or another. So that's my, that's my hunch. Now, just one other thing that I want to touch on here is there was this moment. This is about when Hodak left the company. Uh, there was a Twitter account that talked about Neuralink hiring this guy, Dan Adams, and how critical that was for the brain implant, and that Dan Adams is the guy who narrated the Monkey Mind Pong video. 
And Hodak at the bottom of this tweet says, also need to give credit to Autumn Sorrels, who runs Behavior, and Tuxedo Cat, who runs BMI, both also from UCSF. Dan is great also, of course. That, <laughs> if, you, if you see Max Hodak as potentially passive-aggressive, this could be seen by people within the company as a shot at Dan. Dan is great also, of course. It, this could be seen as Hodak expressing his preference for giving credit to others and less credit to Dan. And I'm just saying this could be something that rubbed people the wrong way. And it was followed. The next tweet, which is about a week later, is Max Hodak up at the top here. He's talking about a product. Uh, he's talking about a product idea that has nothing to do with Neuralink. Now, he hasn't announced that he's left the company yet, but he's talking about 3D and anatomy with single cell resolution. He's going in depth on this topic. Like, what is this doesn't have anything to do with Neuralink. So... I have a hunch that something between the April 11th tweet and this series of tweets is when he left the company. And the last public act he had was this tweet that was arguably critical of Dan Adams. Again, total speculation. Very likely it's something completely different. This is just some speculation. And one other thing that popped in my head was Neuralink started hiring people in Austin, Texas. Neuralink is based in, in California. I think they're technically in Fremont, California, but I thought a lot of what they were doing was in San Francisco, California. And Elon has indicated he's moving to Texas. He has moved to Austin, Texas. Tesla is building up a big factory in Texas. Boring Company is building up stuff in, Tex in Austin, Texas. SpaceX has its operations in the southern tip of Texas at Starbase, or it's formerly known as Boca Chica, Texas. I believe SpaceX may be doing other operations in Austin. And Neuralink is starting to build up a presence in Austin, Texas. And it would not surprise me if ultimately Neuralink was going to move to Austin, Texas. So maybe Max Hodak doesn't want to move to Austin, Texas. Just random speculation, a lot of different ideas about what's going on. I really think the most likely thing, I'm sorry to say, is that there was some corporate politics going on back and forth. And Hodak is seen as the CEO. But when you're, when you're at the top with Elon, it's hard to share the stage with Elon. And if there was some conflict with somebody else in the company and Elon said, because Elon, Elon owns the company, right? If you look on Crunchbase for Neuralink, there were two funding rounds, both funded by Elon. So Elon is funding this company. He's put in about $158 million of his own money, probably borrowed against Tesla stock to fund Neuralink moving forward. At some point, maybe they'll raise some more money, but he's the cash and he's the primary shareholder. He probably holds 95% of the company. So whatever Elon says ultimately goes. So if there's a tie, if there's a dispute within the company, where are we going? Elon makes the call. And my hunch is Hodak didn't like the call. So these are theories. Whatever really happened inside Neuralink, who knows? Maybe Ryan Tanaka. There's a, there's a YouTube channel, Neuropod. I interviewed Ryan Tanaka recently. He's from the Neuropod channel. Be interesting to see his take on it. Maybe he has a theory about what happened. But I just thought that was an interesting topic. Let's move on. SpaceX, lots of great stuff with SpaceX. Let's start with 